If your car is having power steering problems, be it a loud power steering pump, a sticky or erratic feeling rack, or a steering wheel that's hard to turn, you need to watch this video. This video will show you how to potentially fix your problem without replacing any expensive components on your car. Right now, my car is having a handful of power steering issues. Often, when I start this thing up and I turn the wheel towards the lock point, so the maximum amount it could turn in each direction, it binds up a lot and it's really hard to turn. The solution that I'm gonna show you could fix these problems as well as loud power steering pumps, sticky power steering racks, and hard to turn wheels. So let's get into how we could do that without replacing any components. What we're doing today is adding the Seafoam product called Hydra TransTune to our power steering system. This stuff is a cleaner and conditioner that's made to clean out any debris and buildup that's in the system to get your power steering pump acting how it used to when it was new and clean out your steering rack. To use this stuff, you need to get access to your power steering reservoir, which is where the power steering fluid is. On my car, it's underneath this little intake duct right here, so we're gonna take this off. To find where yours is, you could check your owner's manual or go for a more in-depth manual like what I'm using here from eManuals Online, who I have linked down in the description. These manuals are dealer level service manuals that will help you find things like your power steering reservoir, but also show you how to diagnose problems and replace much more complicated parts and systems in your car. You could get a manual like this from eManuals Online and save 20% with the code CASH20. Again, this is linked down below. Next up, we could go ahead and open our power steering reservoir. Some of them pop open just like that, and then we need to get fluid out of here. You need to put four to six ounces of this TransTune into that reservoir, so you could go ahead and measure that, or you could just sort of eyeball it and guess at about four to six ounces. To remove your fluid to make room for that TransTune, you could use something like a turkey baster or a siphon. In my case, I'm using an old antifreeze tester as it does basically the same thing. You could use some sort of container or jar to know how much you removed. In my case, that bottom line is four ounces. And now we want to use a small funnel to add fluid so we don't spill it on the way in. The way I was able to make sure that I added the exact amount of TransTune that I wanted was I checked my fluid and it started at the max, then I removed 4 ounces, and then I filled my reservoir back up to the max. Now we'll go ahead and cap my reservoir back up and get our intake ducting back in place. The next thing to do is go ahead and cycle that new cleaner through your system. So to do that, you wanna go ahead and start up your car and turn your wheel back and forth a few times and that will start to cycle that fluid all the way through your power steering system. Then you could go ahead and let your car idle, which will still be cycling some fluid, and just let it sit for like 10, 15, 20 minutes and that stuff will work its way through the system. All right, so we'll go ahead, start it up. Turn the wheel back and forth. As you can see right here, I'm hitting sort of a hard spot in the power steering. On the way back, hard spot at the end of the power steering, which actually I felt it sort of free up there. Um, so I'll go back and forth a few times. All right, we'll let it sit for about five minutes and then do this again and keep repeating it and show you the results. So right now I'm turning the wheel back and forth. It's still binding up a little bit here and there. And what I'm gonna do is do some circles here and just see if it starts to clear up. Again, this is a cleaner that will take time to break down the debris in the rack. If there's metal shavings or things like that, you should flush your fluid, but if it's just debris, this should do the trick. So now it's been a few weeks and I've been running this TransTune in my power steering system the whole time. I did notice a marginal improvement in my power steering. It's less hard to turn when I first started up and it's less hard to turn when the weather is cold. Now it did not 100% fix my issues. Sometimes the wheel still does sort of hit some stops when I'm turning it back and forth, but it's significantly better than it was. Again, this stuff will not fix mechanical issues within your power steering system. If if you have metal shavings or other debris or a super worn mechanical component, this isn't necessarily going to be your fix. But if you want to just 
try something that's cheap before you start replacing parts. Maybe your issue just started and it's pretty minor. That's when something like this Hydra Transtune can make a difference. If you try this stuff out and it doesn't make a difference, that's when you're going to have to start replacing parts and that's when getting a manual from a place like eManuals Online could be a great solution for you. Let us know down in the comments what car you're working on fixing and if running something like this fixes your problem. Like this video if it helped you out and I hope you have a great day.